Now take a look at navigation. So the frame class is responsible for navigation between pages. Every application has one frame at root level, which is the topmost frame. The topmost frame provides a method called navigate and it provides navigation between pages. So I'm saying var frame module equals require from UI slash frame. Then I'm saying var topmost equals frame most frame module dot topmost function. The page class instance, it carries information about the frame object which navigated to it in the frame property. You can navigate with the frame property as well. So navigate by page name. The simplest way to navigate, just pass page name in the topmost object and you should be careful with the name provider. So I can say topmost.navigate and the page name and done. The navigation will happen. I can navigate with function as well and the function returns the instance of the page you want to navigate to. So I'm having var factory func which is equal to function and inside it I'm defining my label, I'm defining my page which we already saw, setting its content and returning it. But then I can say topmost.navigate and I provide the function. How I can navigate and pass context? Well, you can pass context to the page with navigation entry object. So finder control over navigation compared to other navigation approaches and you can also animate the, naviga the navigation. So I'm saying var navigation entry equals an object which has property module name with the name of uh, the name of your page and then I'm having the context and inside this context I can uh, provide some let's say parameter info with something that you want to pass. Also right now I'm setting animated to false but you can change it to true as well. To the end what I'm saying I'm saying topmost.navigate to navigation entry and this will pass also the context. When you navigate to the page you transfer information from one page to another and with the on navigate to callback you show the details for the entity. So we have a function page navigate to receiving some arguments and here I'm saying var page equals args dot object. Then I'm setting that page dot binding context is equal to page dot navigation context. Navigation without history you can navigate to a page without adding this navigation to the history. With the on navigate to callback, you can show the details for the entity. It's useful if you have multiple page authentication process when the user walks in successfully and redirects to home page. So I'm having my navigation entry, which is an object. I'm placing the module name, but this time I can add the property clear history true. And then I'm just navigating it without history. If back, uh, backstack visible property is set to false, then the page will be displayed, but once navigated from it, it cannot be able to be navigated back to. For, for example, if this is a login string, a login uh, page, you want to have it like that because once you walk in, you don't want to go back there because you're already in. So navigation clear history, you can uh, completely clear the entire navigation history when navigating to a page. And this will prevent the user from going back to pages previously visited. So I'm saying backstack visible is, e uh, is equal to false value. And this will clear the whole history. Navigating back. Well, the topmost frame tracks the pages that uh, the user has visited. To go back to a previous page, you need to use the go back method of the topmost frame instance. So you have to say topmost.goback. 